So continuing on the custom car review streak, we're going to be talking about ninth anniversary units. And funny enough, we've already passed the ninth anniversary for both Global and JP. Wow, we're heading into the little sink, which is obviously amazing. I love that they're syncing both versions together. That's just, it should have been that way from the jump. That way, I would have never had to go to JP because they had all these new, little new sparkling units. Um, and it's coming in from, I'm just going to say K because I don't know exactly how to pronounce your name. I feel like this is one of those accounts I called a burner email back then, but it probably turns out to be this person's real email. So send me custom cards to BHDev, custom cards at gmail.com so I can get to your custom card in the future, as well as you guys know me getting all these older custom cards out the way. Uh, and that's going to be about it. So K says, I'm going to be calling this person K for the rest of the video because I don't know how to say their name. I'm sorry. K says, hey, here are units that I would like to be 9th anniversary units. Card art of Gogeta Blue is my drawing that I drew a couple of months ago. I hope you will like it and finally hit 10K subs. I really, really am going to enjoy this. I enjoy all you guys' cards. Of course, I really am going to enjoy this. And I'm very interested to see what cards he picked for so-called 9th anniversary, even though we passed 9th anniversary. And... Hey, 10k subs um if we get there we get there you know i when it when it comes to like you know the little sub thing sure i will like for people to subscribe but uh hey it's really up to you that's watching the video to sub to me i just create these videos these are pretty much my this is my passion you know i love i love dokkan these are like my you know my passion videos i i enjoy reading units out to you guys Seriously. So I appreciate anybody and everyone that does watch me, whether you watch me in the past and whether you watch watch me every day, watch me every now and then, it's fine with me. Um, I just appreciate you for watching the video. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into the card. Now, I do want to real quick point something out, right? So this card right over here, this LR Gogeta Blue, this card cannot be opened on my end. As you guys can see right over here, it says try downloading it. And when I download it, it does not download. It downloads into like like a little corrupt file. I am unable to download this. I've tried it for a couple of this this person's emails in the past. I did email this specific person to, uh, you know, try to fix it for me. I believe I'd said that. I sent it like back saying like, could you like fix it? Um, or could you resend it or something so I can um, check out this card? I still haven't got a reply back, I think. I didn't compl I actually didn't check, but I didn't see like their I didn't see like a their actual name. So better yet, it's they probably just didn't. It's okay. I understand that people are busy, but I did not get any reply back for all the previous cards that gave me this specific screen. I couldn't even download it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, with that being said, we're gonna be looking at this card today. Um, let me just go ahead and bring this up for, of course, you know bring up the wiki in the background just to have it there because you know when it comes to me editing like blur like on emails i'm not good at doing moving blurs i'm trying to figure out editing okay i'm still trying to figure it out anyways let's go and see what we got here and funny enough he also sent me something similar to like this format back like you know in the past and i looked at a couple of the emails and i sent them two emails in particular trying to you know fix some of these uh what it looks like because he sent me something similar to this little format but it was super blurry it was a couple of emails and this person has sent me quite a few emails for custom cards but a good amount of them were kind of blurry so if you are watching this video i am reading your card today but the i would just you know say go ahead and check your email and possibly fix it for me but um if not it's it's okay it's no big deal so uh superheroes join forces or transformation boost three key and won 70 percent across the board and the additional 30 percent of the stats is to earth bread fighters or battle of faith it is a lr transforming piccolo power awakening and ultimate gohan so editing dev you guys will the, the deal i mean editing dev just show us what characters on his 200 percent disco is going to be looking like probably powerful because I mean, superheroes, you guys know where this is going. Oh, surprise, surprise. I mean, take a look at this team. I mean, uh, Jiren, UI, Beast, the Gammas. I mean, yeah, we're, we're looking pretty good. But no, there are quite a few powerful top heavy options. I mean, that's the word I'm going to be using a lot. Well, did I just see, I thought I saw Tech Ultimate go on. I might have glanced over him, did I? 
Okay, not important. But, I mean, we're... Superheroes is carrying this leader skill. Can we be completely honest? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and read the cards. So, they're super attack effects. They're 12 key. They stack defense, do colossal damage, and lower attack. So, a good 12 key. And they're 18 key. They gain 30% attack and defense one turn as well as doing med colossal damage to the enemy. So, they have good super attack effects. And they're... Let me go ahead and zoom out. Actually, it looks... It looks... All right, yeah. Let me now. Let me, let me zoom out a little bit, actually, so you guys can see the top. Okay, so the top is not cut out. Well, it is cut out for the little arts, and uh, it says art and stats right over here above it. Um, can I? You know what? Let me just zoom out a little bit more. Can I also get the top of the card shown? No, I can't. Okay, all right. It's whatever. Um. <laughs> let me let me just zoom in so you guys can see it a little better all right okay so there are passive synchronized attacks of student and master three key and 200 percent attack and defense at the start of turn they also get two key per keys to obtained they also have a 30 percent chance to dodge unrestricted and they get an additional 30 percent chance to dodge as the first attacker in the turn so they get up to a 60 percent chance to dodge inside the first slot they launch an additional super attack and guard within the same turn after dodging an attack, which is obviously strong, so you want them to dodge. And they also get 100% attack when performing a super attack. So what I'm seeing here is if they don't dodge, uh, they're dead. Okay. Yeah, they don't dodge, they die. Absolutely. Yeah, because they can get up to a 60% chance to dodge, and they don't get their guard and guarantee super until after they dodge. So they get touched, they explode. Although they have a very high defensive stat, as you guys can see, almost 16,000 defense. They're exactly 15,930, and they're at 16,835 attack. And uh, I'm, they just like the point is that they, they get touched, they explode. Yeah, they don't dodge because that's only a 60% chance to dodge because they have to be put inside the first slot. Um, is that a detriment to them? I like that their keeper keys are obtained. Uh, I like that they can get up to a 60% chance to dodge. But if they don't dodge, they die. Within those first couple of turns. And with, of course, after they dodge, they'll have that guard with a 60% chance to dodge. But even then, even with their guard up in the first turn, after them dodging one attack, if they dodge once and they take the super with the guard, they die. Yeah. And they get 100% attack when performing a super attack. I do like their super attack effects, sure. Well, I like their super attack effects more if they're doing multiple supers, like many of these custom cards are doing. Um, uh, Pre-transformation, not looking not looking the craziest. Yeah, not, not looking the craziest because they could explode if you uh, if they get touched like once. Even with their guard, if they can die through their guard. Yeah, they, they could definitely die through their guard because they're not going to have enough time to stack up their defense. Hmm. What would be like a easy fix for this part of their card? I think giving them like, so they, they have two keeper keys to obtained, right? I would probably say reward them for getting above 18 key or reward them for getting at 24 key like some of these other custom cards do. I would also say give them a 70% chance to dodge absolutely just i mean or just give them a flat 50 percent chance to dodge and then to give an additional 20 percent chance to dodge as the first attacker in the turn that would be much better because that 10 percent does matter absolutely it does matter i would also say give them a lot of additional super attack chance as well as a couple of more guarantee supers if they get to 24 key like if they get to 24 key they get a guarantee super if they get above 18 key they launch additional attack that has a 50 percent chance to come a super attack that's what i would go with because they this card could definitely explode immediately like yeah categories are shown on the side as well as their links cold judgment brainiacs solid support common ha ha tough as nails legendary power uh tough as nails makes sense for the uh, power awakening piccolo part of the card now as well as Brainiacs for um, Gohan slash Piccolo. <laughs> so, their active skill transforms into Beast and Orange Piccolo. Condition can be activated starting from the fourth turn when HP is 70% or less. Shouldn't be hard considering the fact that they take they can take a lot of damage. Because all they have is 200% attack and defense to their name. With a 60% chance to dodge, two keeper keys to obtain, a guaranteed super as well as guard when you do dodge. 
and 100% attack and performing a super. Also, give them an attack and defensive buff when they're performing a super attack. I would probably say that also. Yeah. Anyways, see what the... Uh, this is probably... They're probably ridiculously strong in this form. Uh, I'm covering their categories, but I'm sure you guys don't really... I mean, you guys already saw the categories. Anyways. So, uh... Oh, they're STR, by the way. I forgot to... Yeah, wait. Hold on. What? Why do they go from TUR, a super STR, TUR, into an LR? Unless they've always been LR. Yeah, they've always been LR. Why is it... Why is TUR circled? That's probably just a mistake. Uh, anyways. So, uh... Their new super attack effects, their 12 key, they get 50% attack for one turn, as well as 30% defense for one turn while doing colossal damage to an enemy. Solid. 100% attack for one turn and 50% defense for one turn while doing mega colossal damage to an enemy for their 18 key. Good. Uh, so they have good 12 and 18 key super attack effects. Their super attack effects are not. Hmm. I, you know what? I changed my mind. I would rather them be stacking defense. On their 18 key. And uh, yeah, I'd rather them stack defense above the 12 and 18 key super attack fix. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, how about stacking defense for their 18 key and then stacking attack and defense for their 12 key? Or maybe just let them stack attack and defense for both. <laughs> if you're gonna have this launch an additional super attack, right? Because if you're building a stacker, uh you know what? Nah, we're not even gonna go there. <laughs> so five key and 250% attack and defense to start turn. Love it. They perform a guaranteed crit for three turns. You guys know I love offense, so I absolutely love it. They have a guaranteed 100% chance to dodge for one turn. Love it. And they get a 50% chance to dodge starting from the second turn from this character's appearance. I'm with it. They also get an additional 20% chance to dodge as the first attacker in a turn, so they get up to a 70% chance to dodge. Love it. That's the recommendation that I made for the pre-transformation. They also launch two additional attacks. They both have a 70% chance to come with super attack. Just unrestrict it. Love it. Why couldn't they just have that in their base? Because they're stacking defense. Um, Post-transformation is looking strong. Uh, yeah. Uh, or maybe have them stack attack on their 18 key and make them stack defense on their 12 key. Hey, just, you know, just throwing out a couple ideas because their post transformation is stupid strong. Uh, and they also launch an additional 18 key super within the same turn after dodging three attacks. You can very easily get that off. So they have three attacks inside the first slot. They have a guaranteed dodge for one turn. Uh, they dodge three attacks. They can do an 18 key super. This character is doing like five plus supers. Because they do the first super, you get lucky and they launch both of those additional attacks that have a 50%. No, that's a 70% chance to come with super attack. So they can do they can do that first super, the two more supers from their potential that's unrestricted from their additional attacks have a 70% chance to come with super attack, as well as their additional 18 key super, which is ridiculous, and hidden potential system. So they have guaranteed crits for three turns. They have guaranteed dodge for one turn. They have a combined just added up 70 percent chance to dodge after they have that guaranteed dodge turn they also can do up to three plus supers from their passive looking very strong although they only have the 250 percent attack and defense just as their only stats um they're doing a lot of good things to overshadow the fact that they don't get a lot of stats they are absolutely um, but inside their base, I would argue their base is kind of underwhelming, kind of underwhelming. So, um, I think that is about it. I would probably change some things about their base, but their post transformation looking strong. I think the only thing about their post transformation, I would say is that they don't have enough stats, but outside of that, um, a couple things I would change about their pre-transformation is let them stack attack on their 18 key and let them stack defense or just do this. Let them stack attack and get... 30% defense one turn, just separately on their 18 key. Let them just keep stacking defense and gain 30% attack on their 12 key. I will leave it like that. And just go with that specific option. Uh, I would also, if we're going to keep it, if we're going to keep their passive like this, I'd give them 100% attack and defense when performing a super. I would let them get uh, attack and defensive buff, like 100% attack and defense when they do dodge because they get up to a 60% chance to dodge. Or um, I would also go with, I don't know if they're if they're only gonna have that up to a 60% chance to dodge and they also have that guard. Um, I would probably say remove the guard and go with damage reduction because I mean guys, they're gonna still die through guard. Like within those first couple of turns, they will die through that guard. 
absolutely they don't dodge the super like they'll dodge one attack and then they get that little guard plus that additional super they're dying like they're dying if they get hit by a super attack we're going to call a spade an absolute spade that is that has to be true even though their defensive stat is stupidly high they will get cooked I do like the fact that they are doing a lot of great things inside their pre-transformation that makes up for them for not having a bunch of stats. But, I mean, we got to give them more stats. we got to let them be a support type unit. They're, they're looking pretty self-sufficient, like a like a, a slot one, just a slot one unit. I see the vision, but I would change a couple of things. I should probably, I should probably be a little bit more. I know I was being critical in one custom car review video back then. I should probably do that. Yeah. How do you guys feel about that? Me being a little more, you know, a little more, not, what's the word? In depth? Like, not in depth. A little bit more critical is the word. Being a little bit more critical on these custom car reviews. How do you guys feel about that? Maybe I stay in my own lane too much. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I love you all. Send me custom cars to phdevcustomcars at gmail.com so I can review a custom car in the future while I'm getting all these older custom cars out the way. Have a great day and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Again, I love you all. Peace.